Hey folks, welcome back to Honey Money SG. This time, let's take a look at some of the news and happenings around last week and how can we better prepare ourselves for the upcoming market. The S&P 500 just went into the bear market territory and what that means is that we have fallen around 20% of all-time highs. Did you remember at the start of the year, the S&P 500 index hovered around 4.7 to 4.8k at that point during the time and market was actually euphoric. But ever since then, the market has been correcting and correcting and even after the March run-up, we have been in our seven consecutive week of losses. In fact, the fear and greed index is so pessimistic right now at 11 points as of the recording date. So for some people who follow Warren Buffett teachings, maybe this is the time to be greedy when others are fearful. But some people, they are still greedy, right? I don't know whether to be fearful or not. In another news for investing, Kelly Wood just have the Tesla position ranked number two after Roku, you know, right? Tesla used to be the largest position of ARK investments and Caddy Wood has high conviction in Tesla. But what happened to Tesla is that Caddy Wood actually sold away her Tesla positions like a few weeks back to buy GM, General Motors. So does it mean that ARK investments and Caddy Wood has higher conviction in Roku now? I don't know, it's really up to your guess, but some people has been doing the inverse Caddy Wood or even the inverse ARK funds, right? We even have a ticker called SARK, short ARK investments. And that has been doing very well this year because ARK has been trending down with the market. In business news, the world most influential businessman, Elon Musk, actually have so much controversy last week. I think he was involved in several matters that I think it is too much for his followers to follow. Things like being too vocal on his political views. In fact, he even announced in a public Twitter space that he is not going to vote for Democrats or the left in the next election because he felt that the current establishment is actually punishing him in all ways possible. And in fact, he has been flip-flopping his positions in the Twitter deal, right? Have you seen the Twitter saga whereby he actually announced that he wanted to buy Twitter at $54.20? Then later he felt that Twitter wasn't worth that much because of the spam bots account. And then he even replied with a poop emoji when the current Twitter CEO tweet about something regarding spam bots and the Twitter community. And then just very recently, he got involved in some kind of sexual harassment scandal with an air stewardess of his private jet or something like that. But Elon Musk himself is actually denying all kinds of accusations. So I don't know how the story is going to play out. In fact, in the most, most recent news, he even wanted to set up a litigation department or in fact, a law department within the Tesla space because he felt really attacked in all four corners, right? There was really no one to help him out in this kind of situation no one speaking out for him so maybe he need to take things a little bit higher all this move seems like really escalation of the things right because a lot of his followers wanted Musk to focus on his current companies and businesses and not meddle too much in the politics and social media space so that's some elon Musk news for you now coming to the next piece of business news, we hear of firms actually freezing hiring and even some firms have even conducted layoffs. But for the current news, it's more of those tech companies, right? Because they have been booming since the pandemic. But right now in the current market condition, I don't think they have enough budget to fund more headcount anyway. So most of them are actually freezing their hiring exercise. For example, crypto exchange firm Coinbase I mean, it used to be like a really star stock, right? Hiring left, right, center. And then now even a crypto firm has to pause hiring. In fact, if you look at Netflix, Netflix just announced a 150 headcount layoff. Netflix at one of the top fan companies previously need to lay off 150 workers. I think the situation at Netflix must be really bad for them to actually have this kind of restructuring exercise. Maybe this is the start of the reversal of the great resignation, right? Because the past two years have been like the great resignation where people just quit without a job because everywhere is hiring after the pandemic. People really need workers. Are we seeing the reversal in a great resignation now? Will there be a turn where it becomes the employer's market instead of the employee's market? But you know on the bright side, Singapore Changi Airport Group is actually starting to hire. They need to hire around 6,600 of new headcount to help support the airport operations, right? Because I think traveling is opening up in Singapore. We do need more airport operations stuff, be it ground crew or even technician crew. So 
at least that's positive. I think travel is opening up in Singapore, be it inbound travelers or outbound travelers. Um, that's a good thing. We have put two years of pandemic behind us and more people are able to travel freely in and out of Singapore. With regards to health, aside from COVID pandemic, we have a new illness known as monkeypox and it has been appearing in 11 countries. But you know, this monkeypox is actually quite deadly. Around one in 10 people actually get killed because of this disease in Africa. So what I read from this monkeypox is that you will start with flu-like symptoms, then it may worsen to become a skin rash condition. But most of the cases are happening around Europe, so it's still not widespread yet. Let's hope that it can be controlled and not spread like wildfire across the region. In another news for supply chain woes, I think we have been in this supply chain disruption since last year. Do you remember the ship ever given? Now this is an entirely different situation because of the China lockdown, specifically Shanghai. I think they have been locked down close to two months now. Hopefully the city lockdowns will end by the 1st of June. That's what the current news is. And I hope that all the China citizens remain safe and sound during this very difficult period. Because without China functioning, which is one of the world's largest factories and distribution centers, I think a lot of logistics and supply chains cannot move forward. And this will actually impact business earnings as well. You have seen large companies like Apple and Tesla having their manufacturing really impacted because of the China lockdown situation. So let's hope that this lockdown can really end soon so that at least we can be a little bit optimistic about the supply chain issue. Now let's talk a little bit about the Russia and Ukraine war and it's still going on right now in May. I mean, isn't war supposed to be swift and decisive? Because once the war drags out, no one actually emerges as a winner because war actually takes up a lot of resources. And that's what the US is doing. The US Senate just approved 40 billion worth of funding to help Ukraine during this Russian and Ukraine war. How long are we going to drag the war out? Can we just end all this nonsense already? I don't think the world needs any more chaos right now in this already difficult market. So let's just hope that all things can end up in peace. If not, it will be really sad for the civilians and the refugees that are living across these borders. So yes, what do you think of my current new video format? talking about the news. In fact, I got some of the sources from Seeking Alpha Premium, which you can sign up from my referral link as well because they offer like really insights against these kind of issues and what these experts or professionals, sometimes it's really good to have a second opinion, right? Just to improve your critical thinking skills. But you know, if you are feeling fearful and you don't know what to do, then maybe you can check out my earlier video where I talk about the market crash and what you should do, right? In this kind of market crash and what am I doing so with that thank you for watching my name is christopher this is honey money sg still in young adults to financial independence